China's rise as a global superpower has been accompanied by a less visible but equally significant development, its mastery of cyber warfare. What sets China apart is its unique approach, a strategic fusion of civilian technological innovation with military ambitions. This fusion, often referred to as military-civil fusion, allows China to harness its booming tech sector for military gain, blurring the lines between civilian and military research, development and application. This potent mix poses a unique and growing threat to democracies worldwide, challenging the traditional boundaries of warfare and national security. Western intelligence agencies have sounded the alarm in recent years, highlighting the rapid expansion of China's cyber capabilities. These capabilities are not limited to traditional espionage or disruption of critical infrastructure. They extend to sophisticated information warfare campaigns, economic espionage, and the development of cutting-edge cyber weapons. What makes this threat even more formidable is its insidious nature. It often operates below the threshold of traditional armed conflict, making it difficult to attribute and even harder to deter. The stakes are incredibly high. The interconnected nature of our world means that cyber attacks can cripple economies, disrupt critical infrastructure, and even sow discord and chaos within societies. China's aggressive pursuit of cyber dominance, fueled by its military-civil fusion strategy, has the potential to reshape the geopolitical landscape in its favor. The implications for democracies, which value transparency and the rule of law, are particularly concerning. In a world increasingly reliant on technology, the ability to defend against and deter cyber threats is paramount to national security. Understanding the nature and scope of China's cyber strategy, particularly its exploitation of civilian technology for military purposes, is crucial for any nation hoping to counter this growing threat. At the heart of China's cyber prowess lies its military-civil fusion strategy. This doctrine, enshrined in Chinese national policy, mandates that the country's civilian technological advancements be leveraged to bolster its military capabilities. In practice, this means that Chinese tech companies, research institutions and universities are obligated to share their innovations and expertise with the People's Liberation Army. This fusion is evident in various aspects of China's cyber operations. For instance, the development of advanced artificial intelligence algorithms by Chinese tech giants like Baidu and Alibaba has directly contributed to the PLA's capabilities in autonomous weapon systems and cyber warfare platforms. Similarly, China's dominance in 5G technology, driven by companies like Huawei, has raised concerns about potential backdoors and vulnerabilities that could be exploited for espionage or sabotage. China's approach to cyber espionage provides a stark example of its strategy in action. Chinese hackers, often linked to the PLA but operating under the guise of civilian entities, have been implicated in numerous high-profile cyber attacks targeting government agencies, defense contractors, and corporations worldwide. These attacks have resulted in the theft of vast amounts of sensitive data, including intellectual property, trade secrets, and military technology. The effectiveness of China's military-civil fusion strategy lies in its ability to leverage the dynamism and innovation of its civilian tech sector while maintaining a tight grip on information control. This approach allows China to rapidly develop and deploy cutting-edge cyber capabilities, often outpacing the efforts of its rivals. The blurred lines between civilian and military spheres make it challenging for democracies to counter this threat effectively, as traditional methods of deterrence and attribution often prove inadequate in the face of such ambiguity. Democracies around the world are grappling with the challenge posed by China's cyber strategy. The open and transparent nature of democratic societies, while a source of strength in many ways, makes them particularly vulnerable to cyber intrusions and disinformation campaigns. Unlike China's centralized approach, democratic governments face legal and ethical constraints in compelling private companies to share technology or cooperate with intelligence agencies. Moreover, the globalized and interconnected nature of the technology sector adds another layer of complexity. Many democratic countries rely heavily on Chinese technology, particularly in areas like telecommunications and artificial intelligence. This dependence creates vulnerabilities that China could exploit for espionage or disruption, 
as seen in the ongoing debates surrounding Huawei's involvement in 5G networks in several Western countries. The challenge for democracies lies in finding a balance between protecting national security and preserving the very freedoms and values that make them targets in the first place. Striking this balance requires a multi-pronged approach that includes strengthening cybersecurity defenses, fostering public-private partnerships, and developing international norms and regulations for cyberspace. However, efforts to counter China's cyber threat are often hampered by a lack of coordination and consensus among democratic nations. The absence of a unified response, coupled with the rapid pace of technological advancement, allows China to exploit these divisions and continue its aggressive pursuit of cyber dominance. Overcoming these challenges will require a fundamental shift in mindset, recognizing that cybersecurity is not just a technical issue, but a core national security imperative. As technology continues to advance at an unprecedented rate, the threat posed by China's cyber capabilities will only become more acute. The lines between the physical and digital worlds are becoming increasingly blurred, and cyber attacks have the potential to cause real-world damage on a scale previously unimaginable. The interconnected nature of critical infrastructure, financial systems, and military networks makes them all potential targets in this new era of warfare. The lack of clear international norms and regulations governing cyberspace further exacerbates the threat. While some progress has been made in recent years, there is still no universal agreement on what constitutes acceptable behavior in cyberspace, let alone a mechanism for enforcing those norms. This ambiguity creates a permissive environment for malicious actors like China to operate with relative impunity. The implications of China's cyber dominance extend far beyond the realm of traditional national security. The ability to manipulate information, disrupt critical infrastructure, and cripple economies gives China unprecedented leverage in the geopolitical arena. This leverage could be used to coerce rivals, undermine democratic institutions, and reshape the global order in China's favor. The future of cyber warfare is uncertain, but one thing is clear. The stakes have never been higher. The international community must act decisively to counter this growing threat, or risk facing a world where the balance of power is increasingly defined by the ability to control the digital domain. Countering the growing threat of China's cyber warfare strategy requires a coordinated and multifaceted approach. It's no longer enough for individual nations to bolster their own defenses. A united front is necessary to level the playing field. This demands a paradigm shift in how the international community addresses cybersecurity. First and foremost, democratic nations must join forces to establish clear norms and consequences for malicious cyber activity. This includes defining what constitutes an act of cyber aggression and agreeing on proportional responses. A robust international framework, perhaps under the auspices of the United Nations, is crucial to hold state actors accountable and deter future attacks. Secondly, fostering collaboration between governments and the private sector is paramount. Tech companies possess invaluable expertise and insights into the evolving threat landscape. Governments should incentivize information sharing and joint research initiatives to strengthen collective defenses and develop cutting-edge cybersecurity technologies. Finally, democracies must invest heavily in cyber education and awareness. Building a resilient digital society requires equipping citizens with the knowledge and tools to protect themselves from cyber threats. This includes promoting digital literacy, raising awareness about disinformation campaigns, and fostering a culture of cybersecurity. The path forward is clear global cooperation, bolstered by a shared commitment to defending cyberspace, is the only way to counter the growing threat posed by China's cyber ambitions. The time to act is now, before the digital realm becomes another battleground in a new Cold War. Please subscribe and support for more informative videos.